Hey guys, Stan here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the day we are going to be checking out Seventeen and their comeback with their music video for their song Super. I'm super excited. Oh wait, <laughs> pun not intended, but you know. Um, I'm really excited for this. I ugh, like Seventeen. I love how I went from like not listening to them really at all to now they're one of my ults. It's kind of crazy, but. I'm super excited. I didn't, I don't really think I looked at any of the concept photos or anything. I think I did see Mingyu's, obviously, because he's my bias. But other than that, um, I don't really think, oh, I did see the title of their album, FML, Fuck My Life. Literally, they couldn't have released this at like the most perfect timing for me because this is literally how I'm feeling right now. So, um, anyways, we're gonna be jumping on to the music video. So I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, let's get started. I saw the thumbnail, y'all. I'm not ready. Oh, oh my god, the dancers look good too. Who is he? Oh my god, one. Oh. Yeah, we kind of have the same shirt, Loki. <laughs> long what the fuck you just gotta clap it up for them holy shit okay <laughs> okay guys that was 
my reaction <laughs> to 17's Super or Son Ogong. Wow, that was amazing. That was just okay. The fact that it was basically just a performance music video, but it was still cinematic, and the fact that I didn't even really notice it until after S Coops's like verse. That's just that's just like shows that like they're just that good. Like they're just that entertaining that like you don't notice that it's not like a whole movie. It's just a basic performance video. Um. Also, another thing I kind of noticed too, which is very interesting because I don't think Seventeen typically does this for their music and their line distribution, but I noticed that for the most part, I know there's a couple exceptions with uh, Vernon, Hoshi, DK, and Jonghan, and maybe a couple other members, um, but for the most part, most of the members had a really long verse, and then that would be it. They wouldn't have any other parts, because... Wanwu started off the song, then Mingyu went, and then we didn't hear from them anymore. And the same thing with June. June didn't show up until towards the end, and same with you, Woozy. Um, we didn't see Woozy or um, June until the end, and they had their parts. But that was really it. So besides like a handful of the members, all the other members only had one big part, and that was it. So I don't know if they if they've done that before for their music but it's kind of it was kind of interesting because it kind of stuck out because i think maybe because it was a performance video it was a little bit more obvious um because you know with the close-up shots and other music videos you don't typically really notice that kind of stuff but i think because this was a performance video it was more noticeable but i really i think it's very interesting because um i feel like everyone had their time to shine you know so I kind of like that a lot. I really love this. I love how it has that twist of uh, like a kind of a traditional Korean sound and it had more of a hip hop and then their performance is just crazy with all the dancers and then the choreo. This is a 10 out of 10. I didn't even get to check out the other out like the rest of the album, but I'm going to be doing that in my own time. But as far as I'm concerned, this is already a 10 out of 10 comeback for me. Um, enough said. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow all my social media links in the description below, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys! Cherry Cock. Cherry Cock.